were so impressed with your last fight, your, your pro debut. Yes, sir. Uh, how long did it last? I think it was last seconds. 21 seconds. Yes, sir. God, man. Juan, I've been watching you in amateurs. You got it all. Great boxing ability, punching power. Um, man, where did you get all that power from? I would like to see God. From God? Yes, sir. Man, I mean, I, I saw you in the amateur in the Golden Glove. You were hitting people with 12 ounce gloves and putting them out. Yeah. It's all believable. How long have you been boxing? I've been boxing since I was six. Six? Yes, right here in Korea? Yes, sir. Okay, and now you're trained by the great Coach Harambe. Yes, sir. Managed by Orlando Rose. Yes, sir. With R&B promotion, my man Alex. My two barbers. Yes, sir. It doesn't get any better than that, man. <laughs> Just you know, I appreciate it. And, uh, I appreciate everybody for doing, doing the most they can for me. So I'm just happy for it. I'm just happy. Because, you know, some people don't get this opportunity. Right? I got the great opportunity right in front of me. And you get the great opportunity. Let me answer a question. Who's your favorite fighter? Everybody knows Tommy the Hitman Hearns. My favorite fighter. Who's your favorite fighter? Andre S.O.G. Ward. Oh, you could, you could do mm -hmm. What do you like about SOG? He can do everything. He can switch, he can box, he can brawl, he can make people fight to what he was in their fight. And just more more importantly, his belief in Jesus Christ, you know. Um, I believe that we're nothing without Jesus. And so he's on the board. So, you know, it's, it's, you know, that's what I respect him for because he's not afraid to show us what he believes in. And that's true, he's a man of God. But but why? I know you believe in Jesus, man, but I, I watch you in the amateurs and the pros, and you're trying to send your opponents to meet Jesus. Now, how do you balance that? Um, <laughs> my dad always tells me that uh, God is a righteous God. Yes. So you know he's balanced. So you know I don't I don't plan on hurting anybody. You know I don't I don't pray for that. But, right. um, you know if the knockout happens, and it so happens, and it so happens. Man. And you're on the southpaw side. Sir. You know what's funny? There was a fighter. Edwin Valero, you heard of him? He was knocking everybody out. And there's so many similarities. You are a southpaw. Sir. You hit hard with those hands. But the amazing thing about it, your boxing ability equals your punching power. Because you can box really well. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. You know, I think you have a bright future. So, so what's driving you? Um, you know, I have a, I have a lot of motivation. You know, um, I lost my best friend. Okay. That I use that as motivation. I just lost my brother. He's my cousin, but you know, he's like my brother. He's a temple police officer who got killed. That was your that was cousin? cousin. Oh yes, my sir. God! Uh, I wear the bandage. Every time I train and I got custom boots made with his picture on there, I really use that as motivation. So, because he was well, always there for. Well, we're going to de dedicate this video to him. That's motivation. You. I'm sure he's up there looking down. Appreciate you. That, that's motivation, man. I, I remember the story. But um, I didn't know it was your cousin, yeah. your brother. But um, win a world title. <laughs> that's what we do. That's what he wanted to see me do. Win a world title. Take it back to him. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So how, how did your parents feel about your boxing? Um, my dad, well, boxing, boxing is in my family. Okay. <laughs> so my dad, my dad was always, you know, a fighter, but he never got put in the gym. Okay. But my grandpa was a professional fighter on job court. Man. And then my, my, um, his brother, his two brothers, they're twins. They're professional fighters in, um, in the penitentiary and then also the army. Man. So you come from a fighting family. Yes, sir. And then you come from a country where boxing is like a religion. Yes, sir. Puerto Rico. Yes, sir. Do you like to call the great Puerto Rican champ? There have been so many, man. I gotta say, Macho. Macho Camacho. I like Macho. You know, I just got his book. I'm reading it. Oh my God. I love it. That's I love Macho. I love Macho. His swag. <laughs> he's a southpaw. Yes. He's flashy. And he's one of those dudes that fought everybody. Yes. He fought everybody, all the way from Chavez, who was the boogeyman. You know, he fought Rosario. Every, everybody got the smoke with him. Yeah, La Jolla, Trinidad, everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, then I can keep going. You know, I really, I'm a huge fan of Macho. Yeah. 
huge Camacho fan and I respect him if he wasn't scared of nobody. I, I love Camacho, man. He's a boxer. Sure. This sure. is a fight he understood marketing. Mm -hmm. I mean, the, the, the entrances, I mean, the war robes, the interviews. He's like sure. a mini Muhammad Ali. It's sure. all the flair and the flash, man. Sure. Great fighter. Great fighter. But now, your second fight is coming up on July 22nd, sir. So, and you have a couple of stable mates. Uh, Joshua Jones is on that card. Yes, sir. Uh, Femi, the Nigerian Nightmare. Mm -hmm. yep. So all three, I'm good. Yes, sir. All three Southpaw. All three Southpaw. So you're trained by one of the greatest trainers God ever created, Coach Salon, who we call the Southpaw Master. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. That's what she is. We got the slogan. Um, I like to say it. Um, call us the Southpaw City. South Boston, where the South Boston flashes. Man, you guys, I've seen Coach Ron with you guys in the gym. Great trainer, got a great manager at Lando, great promoter. The sky's the limit, man. I hope when you make it on Showtime or one of the big networks, you know, Boxing T96 will get in. <laughs> nah, I mean, always, you always show the uh, <laughs> Respect and love. I'm, I always got love for me when I was in the amateurs. Yeah. So you know, I, you know, real recognize real. So I always appreciated you, uh, especially the article you wrote for me when I got the knocked out. And yeah. Love. Um, I, same love. I have love for you. I always. I don't ever forget where I came from. But uh, I hadn't seen anything like that in the world of love. You were hitting these guys and they were going out. You looked like Julian Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You had 12 ounce gloves on. You were hitting these guys. And they were just humbling. And I'm surprised, I'm really surprised that more promoters didn't just knock the door down to say, I want to sign this kid. You know. Well, I mean, everything happens for a reason. Yeah. Everything's for, everything happens for a reason. Uh, hopefully, the more fights I get and the more knockouts I rack up, they'll yeah, start opening their eyes and see this kid special. Uh, they do a, I think by five, they know everyone's going to be knocking on Alex Barbosa. <laughs> and Alex is a small business. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I mean, Alex, I think Alex a lot because he gave me an opportunity to play yeah. on his car. Um, that was May 20th. And um, he called the next day and he said, I want that kid back. Yeah. And I'm fighting back on his car again July 22nd. So I just thank Alex a lot. Um, I thank my team, especially, you know, Especially my uncle, Orlando, Orlando yeah. Rosa, you know, he's always, he, he's always on top of me, he's yeah. always making sure, you know, I'm doing everything right, I'm working hard, I'm eating right, I'm running, you know, just all around, you know, and it's just, it, sometimes it's beyond boxing. People, yeah. people don't get it, people don't understand that, you know, you're not, we're not just boxers, you know, we're humans too, and um, Orlando understands that, and that's for everyone, but I feel like me and him have a more father-son duo, um, Marcus, he has a son also, Marcus, that's, I look at like my brother, my real brother, mm -hmm. I look at Marcus as, um, I thank them too, too, man. Uh, you know, it's just love between us. Yeah. It's really love, genuine love. And the only advice I would say, man, that I would give you, you mentioned Andre Ward yes, as a role model. Yes, sir. And I would say follow the blueprint by SMG. Yes, sir. Humility, mm -hmm. never got too big. He was very critical of himself. You see that documentary, mm -hmm. he stayed level-headed. And um, same guy that turned pro, the manager, never changed, humble, worked hard, never got big headed despite all his accomplishments. Sure. And, uh, it's humility, man. It's yes. just it's, it's humility, and that's what I look up to. You know, I think there's there's a thing that it, it's Andre Ward's list of things to make a fighter. Right. And I think they were everything that a fighter shouldn't do. Right. Not being 10 pounds over your week, mm -hmm. not living the nightlife, yep. run, mm -hmm. you know, you remove people who's just yes men in your circle, yes, yes. and just, you know, don't believe your own hype. Yes. And it's just everything that I do work saying, you know, I, t I take it into consideration mm -hmm. and, I, and I use it. You know, I really do look up to Andrew Ward. Hopefully, you give me some pointers. Yes. Reach out, you know, and I really, I, I really need it. Yes. Uh, Trust me, everyone will be reaching out to you. They keep watching you. Um, <laughs> next year, this time, Juan, everyone will be coming to Philly. Then. Thank you. I'm telling you. Thank I, you. I haven't seen anything like like this is Edwin Valero. Yeah. You're hitting people. What do you want to say? We're wrapping up. I just got uh, 
the signal from my director, Khalil Smalls, here. Um, what do you want to say to all the fans in Puerto Rico? I want to say, you know, first, I want to say thank you to all my fans in Philadelphia. You know, I, I'm just I'm thankful for everyone who supports me in Philadelphia. Also in Puerto Rico, gracias a toda mi gente. Ahora tú tienes un campeón ahora. Gracias para todo, Puerto Rico vivo. There you have it, folks. Juan Marrero, I mean, haven't seen anything like this man since I last saw the late great Edwin Valero. This man has nitro glycerin in both gloves. And uh, when he hit his opponent, they just say, uh, looks like they're going to meet Jesus. But thank you, Juan. Continue to watch Boxing 396. We're not going to support this man. R&B Promotions, shout out to my man, Alex Barbos. Thank you. Well, I guess I've had my day, you let